Hello and welcome back to the Mecha Bricks to Unreal Engine series. In this video we'll be rigging our character and then exporting to Mixamo. So now we just need to import the rig. There's a link in the description for the rig. It's free so that you can follow along with the tutorial. So once you download that, what you want to do is come up to File, Pend. I made the shortcut for Shift Control A. If you want to do that, you can right click on that and then there'll be a button that says like Add Shortcut and you click on that and then click Control Shift A. And then if you just do Control Shift A, you can find that. And if you go to the downloads, you can find wherever you downloaded that. I have mine in my assets rig. Once you find it, just click Append. And then we just want to join these together before we parent it. And then we want to click on the mesh and then Shift click on the armature and do Control P and do Empty Groups. And then let's just hide the armature for now. Go into the Vertex Groups and you can see that it made a bunch of groups for us. And now we just want to assign all of these groups. So let's go into tab and then L. So for this one, we want to do upper arm and then left hand. And for this one, we just want to do spine two and the hips is spine one. And let's just have this be upper arm. And let's have this be upper leg. And then this is going to be left thigh. And we want to call this thigh L and this one thigh R. And then we want to do the right hand and the right arm. And then the head is, then the head is spine 04 and the hair is spine 5. Now you can see that they're all connected perfectly. And now that we've done that, we just need to manually paint the bottom of the legs all the way down and the same and the same for the bottom of the arm and then also the chest so first click on the armature and then the mesh and then do control tab and weight paint and before we do that actually we want to select this and make sure that the arm is selected do control i and hide that make sure everything's hidden and then when you click on the armature and the mesh and do control tab and weight paint it'll just be that no distractions and before you start go to n and tool options and you want to do auto normalize so that when you paint it will auto balance so there's no issues so we just want to paint the bottom of the arm and now if we go to pose mode you can see that it bends and we're just going to put this into a pose and then do the same armature shift mesh weight paint and then we just want to click t and, and go to blur so we can just soften it out now you can see it looks a lot better and now if we make it go back down we can fix this all right so that works well and then we just want to do the same for the other side i'm going to click on the mesh do alt h bring everything back and then select l Control i and hide everything and then go back to object mode click on the armature shift click on the mesh and weight paint and Control click on the bottom one and make sure you're on paint and now if we put it into a pose like we did before now the arms are weight painted and now we're just going to do the same for the leg go to tab alt h select l Control i and hide and then select the armature shift click on the mesh and then go to weight paint and we've already got the upper leg, so we want to control click on the bottom. And you want to just get everything, because we're going to work our way down. Alright, so once you're done weight painting, you just want to select everything. And then you want to export to FPX. And then the settings you want, you want to do selected objects only, and armature and mesh. And untick all of these. And then for the scale, you want to do 0 0.05. And then export. And then head over to Mixamo. You can sign in for free, it's with Adobe. You can sign in with your Google or Facebook or if you have an Adobe account. And once you do that, you want to click upload character, select, select character file, and then click that, open it. It'll take a second to upload. And then you can see that it's all ready to go. You can click next, next, and then you can pick any animation you want. I'm just going to do a simple idle and a block. So I'm just going to do this one. You can see his arms are a little too in. So we can make the arm spacing a little bit higher. And then we can download. You want to do without skin. And then you want to click the X. And you just want to download a normal one for the base mesh. And then I'm just going to do a simple walk. And then click in place. A little bit more arm space. And then download without skin. That's all for today's episode of the Mecha Breaks to Unreal Engine series. In the next episode, we'll be setting up our character materials and animations in Unreal Engine 5. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.